welcome to this video this is another training update um, from this past week which is I would guess you could say about eight weeks out now officially eight weeks out as of today it is Saturday the 20th of August this time is like going by crazy fast it's ridiculous um, yeah so kind of got eight weeks to just bring the best I can to the platform um, so I'm just putting in a lot of work, working really hard, um, despite all the stress and like other aspects of my life. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty. It's been a pretty difficult week, but I got through it. Um, a lot of fatigue, I feel like, but actually today was really good. Um, so you know, I'm excited for the next week and to keep progressing towards nationals. Um, so as you just saw there, that was my heavy single for the week on squats. I worked up to 415. It was. Um, I would say relatively easy. I perhaps could have got 420 or 425 today, but that day, but I, it shouldn't have pushed it any more than where it was because, like you know, like I said before, the fatigue was pretty, pretty significant this week. Um, I've been going through like RE training, which is my um, I work as a resident assistant, so um, you know we have to do training every year for that, and it's like a week long. And it's very intensive, so you know, I have a lot of free time during this period, so um, it's difficult to. You know, manage your time effectively and sleep enough. <laughs> um, so this is some of my benching, doing 235 for a 5x5. Five five. This was felt relatively easy. Um, yeah, so my bench is improving a lot, even though I'm benching four times a week. My shoulders are feeling pretty beat up now, but um, it's a steady improvement. I'm going to be cutting down to three days a week soon, and then ultimately like two days a week. Um, right before my meet um, and I'm squatting three days a week right now as well so this is my second squat day right here I worked up to what was supposed to be a heavy triple but it ended up being a double just because my fatigue level was really high and I had to not only squat on this day but I also had to deadlift and bench because um, the gym was closed for the next two days so I wasn't able to do the next workouts that I had to do um, so I just condensed it all into one three hour session of pain <laughs> um, but it, it worked out being okay um, my deadlifts didn't go so well my squats were pretty average um, but you know sometimes you just got to accept that it is what it is and just move on but my form in all, all of the big three is like improving um, and that's exciting too so you know I, I can't really complain too much um, I think my progress is reflective of the amount of work I'm putting in and everything's improving so that's great too this is my heavy bench single for the week. Luckily, I had a spot for the next one, which you're about to see, which is 275. Um, I got it like halfway up, but I just couldn't lock out the rep. Um, like I said, I think I just had a lot of fatigue, and I did 270 right before this. So, if I thought I could have got 275, I perhaps wouldn't have attempted 270 right before it. And then I did 240 for two sets of five. Super easy, feeling good. I'm excited about how much my rep strength is improving on bench as well um, because I feel like that's going to have ultimately have a carryover to my strength um, you know complete my complete strength you know in the one rep max sense so that's good um, yeah just keeping soldiering on I'm really excited for the meet now about eight weeks out like I said um, it's, it's going to be a really good meet I think I'm just excited for the experience of the competition and to get back on under the bar again on the platform um, because it's, it's kind of a unique experience that you don't get while you're in the gym so it's nice to embrace that and really enjoy it um, and we're going to try and get back on top of um, the podcast and, uh, and the blog posts as well because like I said I've been really busy and Andrew has been out of town for like two months so it's been difficult like trying to coordinate that luckily we had the foresight to kind of work around it but um, we ran out towards the end of his time away, so it's been kind of difficult, but we'll be getting back on that now. I think we're going to record a podcast um, this coming weekend, and um, probably a couple, so we should be getting them back out soon and like really getting back to a consistent upload schedule with that. Um, you know, we just really want to continue to put out good, consistent content um, for everyone and, you know, really make. Uh, powerlifting and strength training as accessible as we can for college students and young people um, and just provide some like valuable content as well because I think you know, there's a lot of good content on the internet but <laughs> it's not all valuable you know um, so it'd be nice to 
get back to doing that, you know, just for the, for the, for the pure enjoyment of it, if anything. Um, yeah, so it's good. Um, this is some more, oh, this is my deadlift thing. This is what I did this morning. It was really fun, but I'm pretty tired from it now. Um, I did five sets of two at 510. Uh, my form's improving pretty steadily. I'm just trying to keep my head down a little bit. Um, I'm craning my neck a little bit. I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, I'm sure I'll figure it out as the time comes. But like I said, eight weeks out, um, I'm back again with another training update next week. Thank you very much for watching.